What's up guys, my name's Tyler, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a card game that I've been working on for about the last two years. In case you can't tell by the name of the YouTube channel, the name of the card game is Kingdoms. Kingdoms is a trading card game in which players play each other one-on-one, -on -one, representing different kingdoms found within the game, in hopes to see which one is the most powerful. This is my first video in which I'm going to be showing you the general idea of the game, the types of cards in the game, and also giving you guys a sneak peek of what videos are to come. Just to give you guys a general story behind the game, because I understand that maybe for some of you it's not important to you, but it helps understanding why the cards are what they are, and also kind of helps come up with the creative process as well, and that shows you guys how I come up with the different cards. So the general idea or story behind the game is that there are three spirits that live just in out in this universe, out in this world that no people are, no people exist in. And so they are all equal in power, all even in power, and to see who would be the most powerful amongst the three of them, they decided to create a world in which different kingdoms who believed in uh, each of the different ones would represent them in battle in hopes of showing which one would ultimately be the most powerful. The general idea of the game when you are playing it is that rather than having one set of life points in the game that you are trying to bring down on your opponent, you have cards that you are trying not to let get destroyed, which are called sacred cards. They are called sacred cards because for the different kingdoms, they are called sacreds because these kingdoms believe that these sacreds represent the spirit that they believe in, and so they are fighting to defend them. There are six different types of cards in the game, and I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of them. Firstly, in the game, you have cards called battle cards. Now, I have four different examples right here, and I did that for a specific reason because uh, I want to show you guys. In some of the battle cards, well, in all the battle cards, they have a flag in the bottom right corner, and the flag indicates what kingdom they are part of. So for this kingdom, for example, for Linford, which is one of the first kingdoms in set one, Furbish, which is also another kingdom in set one, and the other new kingdom in set one, or not new, but the original, is Estercrest. This flag right here represents neutral, which means it can be played with any of the other kingdoms. You'll also notice that in some of the battle cards, they have a logo in the upper right corner. This indicates which of the big three spirits that they believe in and hence for fight for. And uh, I will also point out that a lot of the artwork that you are seeing, or actually all of the artwork and the card layouts, are being completely changed. Uh, I wanted to change the artwork with the markers that I was coloring with, uh, and also change the look of the cards just to make them a little bit more playful and friendly, uh, make them more appealing to the eye, or at least my eye. Secondly, another type of card in the game are spell cards. Spell cards have also flags in the, uh, in the bottom that indicate which kingdom they can be played with, this being neutral, for example. And spells can be played to give you card advantage, buff cards that you have out in the field, or even just change the tide of battle and hopefully bring you back into it so that way maybe you can win. Also in the game, you have cards called Legend Cards, which are essentially more powerful battle cards. Battle cards cost a lot of Magicka, which Magicka is the currency that you use to spend in the game. You start out with a base of five Magicka every turn, and then uh, that you can use that to call battle cards to the fields, uh, cast spells, or even call Legends. Legends cost a lot of Magicka, which can be brought down by sending battle cards you have on the field to the graveyard. So those are Legends. Legends are super powerful, and if you can bring them out, uh, not necessarily a guaranteed win, but they can definitely make your opponent be a little bit scared. Another type of card in the game is spirit cards. Now you might be wondering, Tyler, you said there's three spirits. How can you only have three spirit cards in the whole entire game? You see, when the theory, the, these three big spirits made these kingdoms, they could not physically show themselves to the people that they had made. So they made these smaller spirits to represent them and represent their character and ultimately be with the kingdoms that they had created. Spirit cards are free of charge. You can play them for free without Penny and Magicka. And their health, because there's no health on them, is the health of what sacred you have. So if your sacred dies and your spirit's attached to it, the spirit card is destroyed as well. Spirit cards can really change battle in the uh, really at any moment, at any time, and they can really make it feel like you're not necessarily out of it until uh, you can get that card out yet. Another type of card in the game are token cards. Token cards give you the ability to play more powerful cards. Because you only have a base of five Magicka per turn, you don't always have enough to cast some cards, battle cards, spells, uh, or, or even legends and stuff. So tokens give you additional Magicka to spend on each turn. 
giving you the ability to play more powerful cards. Lastly, and the most important type of card in the game are sacred cards. Sacred cards have health. Again, they have a flag to let you know what kingdom they are part of and also what spirit they are part of. And sacred cards, you get three of them to choose. And sacreds, once your third sacred is destroyed, you lose the game. So I understand this might not be for all of you out there, but nonetheless, at the end of every single one of my videos, I'm going to share a quick one to two minute devotional just because my Christian faith is something very important to me. I'm going to be sharing out of Jeremiah 29 11, and it's a well known verse, but it's a verse that's taken well out of context too many of times, which is unfortunate. 29.11, for it says this, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. You see, people quote this verse, and then they are baffled when things happen to them that don't make sense. What people forget is that this verse was meant for the Israelites who were in the desert for 40 years before they could even get to these good plans that God had for them. So we need to remember sometimes that even though scripture does say God has plans for us, we need to also remember that sometimes we might go through a long duration of our life going through the desert, going through hard times. But nonetheless, God does have plans for us. But that plan might ultimately just be that we know that we have safety and security and eternal life in heaven. I want to thank you guys for watching this first video. I hope you find the trading card game that I've been working on interesting. And I hope you guys are excited to see as stuff comes out. Uh, this game is help. Uh, I'm doing it all through the Game Crafter. And so I just sent in this morning my order of the new looks of the cards. There are 132 cards in the first set. And so I'm going to be doing an unboxing video and showing you guys some of those and just what set one has to offer. And what uh, you could get your hold on, uh, get your hands on eventually. In next week's video, which I'm hoping to post videos on a weekly basis, and uh, I'm also hoping to be active on Instagram and Facebook, which will be in the description below, links to that. In next week's video, I'm going to be going over each of the types of cards specifically and letting you know how they work, how you can use them. And then in videos to follow, I'm going to be going over how you can build a deck, how to play the game. And then after that, it's really whatever comes, whether it's opening booster packs or doing card tech talks or doing deck strategies or even gameplay videos. I guess with that, my name is Tyler, creator of the TCG Kingdoms, and I want to thank you for watching this video.